next up, that's three. And card number four, Imperial Seal. Centering 9.5, corners 9.5, edges 9. Too bad that wasn't a 9.5, but a 10. Uh, a surface, which is, adds to the pile of 10s. Seal. Yes, we sent them all. No, we didn't. I think I got like four left. 9.5, 9.5, and a 10. One more little bump on any of those would have made it all so there. So, as for grading... That right there is the best Imperial Seal I've seen so far. There ain't one better. And until somebody proves me wrong and sends me a picture or drops a video, I'm not going to believe you. But right there, non-foil, centering 9.5, corners 10, edges 9.5, surfaces 9.5. So close. So close. So close. Next one is another Imperial Seal. Centering 9.5, edges 9.5, surfaces 9.5, corners a 9. Still a solid one. Doesn't have the 10 grade. Still solid. Next we have Nano Vault. Nine point five centerings. So I had about twelve of these Nano Vaults, and all the foil ones were a millimeter off. All the non foils were just right on. Right on. So much so, this one's even got the, the 10 mark on it. Those corners would have been a 9.5. She'd have been really good. You ask me if the gloves work, putting them in penny sleeves work, clean area. Yes, it does. It makes a difference. It makes a big difference. Ratio wise for Beckett, one third of the cards I actually sent came back as 9.5s. That's a pretty good ratio. Everything came back else than 9. What I sent off to be lower graded. <laughs> the three cards. Yeah. See if it really makes a difference. Yes, it did. That one goes over here in the pile with the 10. Next up. Again, foil etched. Y'all can see the etching, right? Okay. 
does have the correct card number on it, but to me again, it's that etching without having the, uh, without having the, uh, word up there on the top. But anyway, right now it is what it is. Next up, we're down to the two more. This one is Uamad. Nine point five centering. I had three of those to pick from. Two were off. On the centers, gloves. Yeah. I'm glad the expensive cards are actually they do come out a little bit better with the surfaces and stuff. Uh, we're talking like the Imperial Seal, stuff like that. That's printed less. They seem to be more clean. Alright. Last up. Here at the Emporium. Liliana. The 10 on the surface is 9.5 centering. Corners 9.5, edges 9. Well, if that would have been another 9.5, but again, she's got a 10. And again, foil etched. I know you guys can zoom in and see the foiling and the etching. Smoking hot. So anyway, everything with a subgrade of 10 is the Liliana. Mandevolt. Imperial Seal. Ooh, that looks good. Caravan of Souls. Cavern of Souls. I always say Caravan. I've said done that since the card was first printed. Another Cavern of Souls with the 10. Man of Vault with the 10. Another Foil Man of Vault. Japanese with a 10 centering. And backwards. Another that. through and last but not least foil etched foil etched foil etched Seal. Imperial Seal. Imperial Seal. Imperial Seal. Ren. Ren. Ren Foil. Liliana Foil Edged. Okay, move the stack over, boys.
so I will thirty nine cards I sent. I got all at least nines, nine point fives, the three cards I sent that I knew should not have a good grade on them. Came back correctly the way they should. And then finally, as I said, for those who like, subscribe, give me 100 subscribers, and I will give this card randomly. I know it's an 8, but it also has a centering of 10. Or, I'm sorry, corners of 10, which is just hilarious. The edges are 7. I don't know what happened there. Surface is an 8.5. Don't know what happened there. Card was centered. I used a tool on it. Corners of 10. I guess. I get 100 subscribers. Like. Leave a comment. And uh, do all three of those things. And uh, I get 200 subscribers. I will give this card to one lucky person. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. This is Timmy's Emporium. And uh, we'll have another uh, set of graded cards coming back shortly. Thanks for watching. Later.